Heavenly King of Comforters, Spirit of Truth, whatever are present, false thought things, so treasure every good and bestow of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls. A good one. Is the light in us, but our holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy on us, for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy on us, for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal mercy on us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto you, to the future of men, all holy trinity of mercy on us, Lord, bring us into our sins, Master, for our iniquities, holy one, for the healing from these, for the name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto you, to the future of men. Our Father, which art in heaven, tell be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and they just not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the age of the future. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ, the King and our God. Our kind of Lord, into my righteousness, attend to my supplication, give ear to my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips, and before they face, let my judgment come forth, let my eyes behold the brightness, thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, that my mouth may not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard, and set my footsteps in thy path, and set my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, inclined near to me, and hearkened unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that have resisted thy right hand. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thy eye, and shelter thy wings, for thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might, a lion ready for his prey, and so might, a lion's wealth that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them, and trip their heels, deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy feet that thou separate them from the earth and their life, yea, with thy hidden treasure to their belly been filled, they have satisfied themselves with swine and fled the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, I should be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies love me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorance is remember not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord, to go to upright. Is the Lord, therefore, will he set a law for them as sin in the way? He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies for the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen, his soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. When I are ever toward the Lord, for he it is, I will draw my feet out of the snare, look upon me, and have mercy of me, for I am one, only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me off from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto thee. For I waited on thee, O Lord, redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blood of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only I have been sinned, and none this evil before thee, though the might be justified in their words, and fail in our judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins of my mother bear me. For behold, thou wilt love truth, and hear any sick thing, till the wisdom of may manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones of be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood and guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with open offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. Thy sacrifice, and the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and make a pleasure on the side, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with thy sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, home and offerings, and shall they offer the looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for thou art the age of the men. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
When the bodiless one learned the secret command, he in haste he came and stood before the Joseph's dwelling and spake unto the maiden who knew not wedlock, the one who hath bowed the heavens by his descent is held and contained and changing wholly in thee, seeing him receiving the form of his servant in thy womb I stand in awe and cry to thee, rejoice, thou bride and wedded. <laughs> Both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men, O Theotokos, thou art a true vine that hath blossomed forth, for, for, for thou hast, O Theotokos, thou art the true vine that hath blossomed forth for the, the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate, intercede, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints that are close to mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Is for light to despot of holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. All holy Trinity have mercy in us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visiting heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive. Give our letters and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and unto the age of ages. Amen. To thee, the champion leader, be thy city dedicated, a feast of victory, and of thanksgiving, as once rescued out of sufferings with the old tokos, but as our one with might, which is invincible from all dangers that can be, to thou deliver us from the cry to thee, rejoice of right and wedded. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, our long suffering, plenteous and mercy, most compassionate, who love us for righteousness, mercy, and sinners. We call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers for this hour and guide our life towards thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with the holy angels are guided and guarded by their array. May attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages of men. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto the ages of ages of men, more honorable than the cherubim, beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee without corruption, gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, see do we magnify you in the name of the Lord, and Master Blood. God be gracious unto us, and bless, and cause his face to shine upon us, upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. For Christ, the true life, and just in life, and the same Oh, Sovereign Master. O sovereign Master, God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and now, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy, me a sinner, and by the judgment of the us, save me, thine unworthy servant, and blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ, the King and our God. O God, in the name, save me, and in the strength, thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me, mighty men have sought unto my soul, have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good, for out of every affliction thou shalt deliver me, my eye to look down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain to my supplication, and attend to me, and cheer me. I was grieved in my meditation, I was troubled at the voice of thy enemy, and the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, a thrust were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness have covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lo, I fled afar off, and I dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God. I waited for God that saveth me from faint heartedness and from tempest, plunge them into the depths of the Lord and divide their tongues, for I seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city. 
day and night to go round about her upon her walls, iniquity and toil, and unrighteousness in the midst of her, and use her in deceit her of not departing from her streets. For if mine enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and he that had hated me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, a man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend, thou who were together with me, the sweet of my repasts in the house of God, I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let her go down alive into Hades, for wickedness is in our dwellings, and in the midst of them is for me unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearken unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday, while I tell of it, and I will declare it, and he will hear my voice, he will redeem my soul in peace, for in them I draw nigh unto me, for they among many were with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages, for to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts are convened, their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast a care upon the Lord, and he will nurse thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, O God, shall bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live on after days, but it is from you, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters, and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will they overshadow thee, and under, shall thou, under thy, his wings shall thou have hope. For the shield with the truth encompass thee, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap of demon at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord of my hope, thou mayest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh to thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time they'll dash your foot against the stone. Upon the asp and basculus shalt thou tread, and not shall trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, I will rescue him, and glorify him, and think the days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the body of this one learned the secret command, and he came and stood before Joseph's dwelling, and spake unto the maiden who knew not wedlock, the one who hath bowed the heavens by his descent is held and contained, unchanging holy in thee, seeing him receiving the form of a servant in thy womb, I cry, I stand in awe and cry to thee, rejoice, thou bride and wedding, both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen, seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou, do thou beseech him that was born at the virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother of Beth, much with a master's favor. Disdaining not, not the prayers of sinners, the most to gospel, one for merciful to see, mighty to save, he that deigned to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name, O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. He is polite to us, but oh, the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us. Oh, the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us. Oh, the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto the age of ages, amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy in us, Lord, be gracious, and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the age of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, will be spirit, and the Son will be spared unto the age of ages. Amen. To thee, the champion, leader, we thy city, dedicated peace to victory, and of thanksgiving, as one's rescued out of sufferings with Theotokos, but as our one with might, which is invincible from all dangers that can be, did thou deliver us, so we may cry to thee, rejoice, our bride and ready. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 who love us the righteous and has mercy and sinners who call us all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers to the sour and guide our life towards the commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Help us about with the holy angels, our guide and guard over their array. You may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men, more honorable than a cherubim, and begun can be more glorious than a seraphim. Thee, who without corruption gave us with the God the word, the very day, I took us to be magnified in the name of the Lord, Master Blood. <laughs> Amen. O
this terrible handwriting of our sins, and thereby does triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O member Trinity Master, accept also from us and receive prayers with thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil, nailed on our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline our hearts into words of thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light, as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father which is without beginning, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy good and life, freedom, spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, O hope, Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy Master, bless us. Christ, our true God, by the intercession of his all the magna, all blameless Holy Mother, whose eye this time we celebrate by the, by the by our, our, our supplication of the Lord glorious power from Baptist, John, Holy Patron, John Maximum, which Archbishop of San Francisco, <clears throat> the wonder work of the Holy Righteous and Sisters of God, Jewel, came in on the Holy Martyr, Calliopus of Bergen, Pamphylia, Rich, our Father, among the Saints, George, Bishop of Mytilene, whose memory Kiddur and Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople's Divine Liturgy, we shall celebrate, and of all the saints, members to save us for you, and the friend of man. With the prayers of the Fathers and Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy, and save us. Evlogi son despotor, Evlogi meni vasilia tu patros, que tu iu, que tu iu pneumatos, nin que ai, que su seonas tu neono. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace, my Bob, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. <coughs> Lord have mercy. And a idea for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray Lord to the have Lord. Mercy. <clears throat> for this sacred monastery, this town, for every city, town, and countryside, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray Lord to the have Lord. Mercy. <clears throat> for seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> For them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives in their salvation, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious Lord Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our to God. Thee, o Lord. Glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. 
kantak samala gisa ta kiria ke psali in tona matisu ipsiste tes presviestis te atokus o tersos animas To proclaim in the morning thy mercy and thy truth by night by the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. I praise the Lord our God, and there is no unrighteousness in him. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Eti che di in 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 it che riu dei tome, chi lei so, quando la buso sono in lei son chi dia filax un maso te osti si cari chi lei so, dispone i asa grandi per evlo i meni si doxi lo spirito mando e tocco che hai per te non maria, metta pano non hai in un mene e sante se avvio scali luz, che passa in tinto in i monchi sto te teo para tome da, chi lei è, uti son do fratus che su esti in i vasi le che i dino mi schi doxa tu patro e schi tu e io che tu io non amo dos nin chi hai chi su sono sto ne o Amen. The Lord is King, He is clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and He hath hurt Himself by the intercessions of Thy saints. Save us, O Lord. Que gares tereus et nicumen in itisus, alectis et te presvies ton agion sus, os animas Kyrie. Holiness become at Thy house, O Lord, unto length of days, by the intercessions of Thy saints, Save us, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Word of God, Thou who art immortal, and is deigned for our salvation, to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, and who was crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death by death, Thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, Glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Paki, paki, miram gospodu pomolim sia. Gospodi pomiluj. Zastupis pasi pomiluj, so kaninus Bože Tvoje ju blagodatiju. Gospodi pomiluj. Presvjetu ju prečisti, pe blago Sloveniju, slavni u vladiciću našu Bogu roli supriju, Devu Mariju. So vsemi spjetimi pomjenju vše sami sebe, i tu kruga i već živo nas Hristo Bogu pridadim. Gospodi. Let us come before his countenance with thanksgiving and with psalms, let us shout in jubilation unto him. For the Lord is a great God and a great King over all the earth. O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, save us who chant to the Alleluia. For in his hand are the ends of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his. For the sea is his, and he made it, and the dry land his hands have fashioned. O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, Save us who chant to thee, Alleluia. Come, let us worship and fall down before. Christ, O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, save us who chant to thee, Alleluia. To prostak ten mystikos la von and gnosi, and his kinitu, Iosif's body a pesti, O asomatos legon, Tia pirogamum, O glinas ti catavasi, Tus uranus, Orite, Anavioto, Solos, 
By teachings and godly works thou didst enlighten thy flock. By wonders and signs of grace thou art a light for the world. O clement, beloved of God, wherefore the Slavic peoples magnify thee with ardor. For through thee they are now grafted to Christ our Savior. Beseech him, most sacred herald, to illuminate and save our souls. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen to thee, the champion leader. We thy city dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving as once rescued out of suffering so theotokos but as thou art one with might which is invincible from all dangers that can be do thou deliver us that we may cry to thee rejoice thou bright
human heart is in the third tone. My soul does magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he, for he hath looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. The reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Brethren, Christ is not entered into the holies made with hands, which are antitypes of the true things, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us, nor yet that he should offer himself many times, as the high priest entereth into the holies every year with blood of others. For then must he have suffered many times since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the ages hath he appeared to an all sin, by the sacrifice of himself, and as it is appointed unto men to die once, but after this the judgment, so also Christ being offered once to bear up the sins of many, shall appear the second time without sin unto them that await him unto salvation. <laughs> Brethren, the first tabernacle had ordinances of worship and a worldly sanctuary. For the first tabernacle which was prepared was called Holies, wherein was the lampstand and the table and the showbread. And after the second veil was the tabernacle which is called the Holy of Holies, which had the golden censer and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid round about with gold wherein was the golden urn that had the manna, and the rod of Aaron that blossomed, and the tablets of the covenant, and above it were the cherubim of glory, overshadowing the mercy seat, concerning which we cannot now speak particularly. Now when these things were thus prepared, the priest went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the sacred rites, but into the second went the high priest alone once a year, not without blood, which he offered for himself and for the ignorance of, ignorances of the people. Oh. Wisdom. The Alleluia is in the plague of the set fourth tone. thy rest, now in the ark of thy holiness. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remember, O Lord, David and all his meekness. Oh, 
Ende simeres ekine san astas amariam e porefti esti norinin me tas pudis is polin iuda ki silten is ton ikon zachariu ki spasa tot in elisavet ki genetos ikusen os ikusen i elisavet ton aspasbon tis marias eskirtis eto vrefos en dikili aftis και πλείς την πνεύμα του Αγίου, η Ελισάβελ και ανεφώνησε φωνή μεγάλη και ύφεν. <coughs> Ευλογημένη σύν γυναίξη και ευλογημένος ο καρπός της κοιλίας σου. Και πόθεν μη τούτο ή να έλθει η μήτυρ του Κυρίου μου προς με, η δούγαρος έγινε το η φωνή του ασπασμού σου εις τα ότα μου. Εσκύρτησε το βρέφο σε νεγαλιάσει εν την κοιλία μου. Και μακαρία η πιστεύσα σα ότι έστε τελείωση τη λελαλημένη αυτή παρακυρίου. Και είπε Μαρία, μεγαλύνει η ψυχή μου των κύριων και η γαλλία σε το πνεύμα μου επί το Θεό το σωτήρι μου. Ότι επέβλεψεν επί την ταπεινούση τη δούλη αυτού. Η δούγαρα που του νυν μακαριούσι με πάσε γενέ, ότι επίσε μη μεγαλία ο δυνατός και Άγιον το όνομα αυτού. Έμεινε δε Μαριά με συναυτή ως ημίν αστρής και υπέστρεψεν εις τον οίκον αυτή. The readings from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answereth and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. In those days Mary arose and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judea and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the humility of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And Mary abode with her about three months and return to her own house. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us all 
say with our full soul, with our full mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee hark and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee hark and have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord, have mercy. And his Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren, priests, priests, monks, deacons, hierarchs, deacons, monks, nuns, and all our brotherhood and Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of all pious and orthodox Christians, the founders, donors, and benefactors of this holy monastery, and for all who keep this holy peace. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all of our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us. The Orthodox here and everywhere piously lay the Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray also for our brethren who are about their tasks and for them that are away, and for all our benefactors past and present, for them that minister and have ministered unto us in this holy monastery. Lord have mercy. O merciful and many friendly God art thou, and unto thee do we send the glory. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, ye catechumens, to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Be faithful for the catechumens, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he may catechize them with the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That he may reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, Lord, by thy grace. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the to Lord. The old that they also with us may glorify thine all honor, O majestical name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart, the catechumens depart. As many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are the faithful, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee is the all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Eti keti. And he didn't to kill you, they told me. Kill you, Andi la vu, so son el eison. Que di a filax un imaso de hostis y jaiti. Kill you, eison. Sofía. Opos, hipotucrato, supando te filatomen y si doxan a la pembomen. Tu patrique tu yo, que tu yo pneuma que ni ni que su seona su neono.
our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts set forth, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Have mercy. For this holy house and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. The angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. this, O Lord. All Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, in the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. Calling to remembrance are all holy, Most immaculate, holy, blessed, and glorious, Lady, and Joseph, and every Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. another that with one mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit the Trinity one in essence and undivided The doors, the doors I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Πιστεύω σε έναν Θεόν Πατέρα, Παντοκράτορα, ποιητήν ουρανού και γης ορατών, δε πάντων και ορατών, και σε έναν Κύριο Ιησούν Χριστόν, τον Αγιό του Θεού του Μονογενή, τον εκ του Πατρό γεννηθέντα, προπάνων των αιώνων, φως εκ φωτός, Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα, ου ποιηθέντα, που μου είσου πατρίδου τα πάντα αγέννητο, τον ειδημάς ο θρόκος για την ημιτέρα σωτηρία κατεθόντα του ουρανών και σερκωθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας Παρθένο και ανατροπίσεντα. Σταυροθέντες υπηρημών επιποντίου πιλάτου και παχόντα και τα φέντα και να στάντα την τρίτη μέρα κατά τα σγραφάς και να εθόντα στους ουρανούς και καθεζόμουν εκ δεξιών του Πατρός και πάλι ερχόμενον με τα δόξης κρινεζώντας και νεκρούς που της βασιλείας ούκ εστε τέλος και στο πνεύμα του Άγιον το Κύριον των Σοπιών εκ του Πατρός ασπορευόμενον το συμπαντρικείο συμπροσκυμνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον το λαγής αρδιά των προφητών εις μία Αναγία Καθολική και Αποστολική Εκκλησία 
un molt guany vaptes un sap se ne mateixon, però el dolc quan està així necron, que és ui tu me lo doce o no. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Spirit, we lift them to the Lord.
especially your holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious Lady Theodorus, and ever Virgin Mary. Saint John. again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loveth mankind and with accept of them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray Lord, to the have Lord. have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by thy Lord grace, have mercy. that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask Grant of the Lord, this, o Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, o Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of Grant the Lord, this, o Lord, things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, this, o Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, 
and a good defense before the judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Grant Lord. This, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Give me, o Lord. And account us worthy, O sovereign Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Pater, Mondus, Taranis, Sagas, Zoromasho, Feto Vesiliesu, Genitito Thilimasho, Sinurano, Kepetis Gis, Tonarto Mondon, Epiusio, and those in Simir Kiaf, Semin, Tau Felima Daimon. Os que me se afirme tu sufelete se mon, que me se negue su más fiel el mon, a la risa más a por tu poñero. Oche nos y je sin a nebes tiek da svieticia y mi a tvoje da pride carstvie tvoje, da bude tvoja tvoja jako na nebes i na zemlji. Hleb naš na sušni daž nam dnes i ostavi nam dolgi naši, a jako že mi ostavljajem dožnikom našim. I ne vedi nas v izkušenje, no izbavi nas od lukavago. O te sveste ni vasilija, ki je dinam iz kedo, ki se tu patroš, ki tu je upi, tu je upi na vmatožnim, ki je, ki su se ono stone ono. Amin. I pasni. Ke to pnevma leti. Bow your heads unto the Lord, to the O By the grace and compassion Love for man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. <coughs> sinners of whom I am chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thine immaculate body, and this is indeed thy precious blood, 
Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, and knowledge and in ignorance. And vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries under the remission of sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, O Maker, burn me none as I partake, for fire art thou, which burneth the unworthy, but purify thou me of every stain. Let the mystic suffer, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, shall behold this to deify in blood, for it is a burning coal, consuming the unworthy, in the body of God, but deifieth and nourisheth me, it deifieth the spirit, and wonderfully nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by thy divine love hast thou changed me, but with, an immaterial, but with thine immaterial fire consume my sins, and count me worthy to be filled with delight in thee, that leaping for joy, a good one, and may magnify thy two comings. Into the splendor of thy saints, thou shalt lie the unworthy one enter, for should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, when the rest of death betray me. For it is not a wedding garment, and if one bound it to be cast up by the angels, cleanse the Lord of defilement of my soul, and save me since thou art a friend of man. O member, friendly master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be enemy for judgment through my unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and as an earnest of the life in the kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God in the place in the Lord, the hope of my salvation. Of the mystics of our Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief. Do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom, remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. By the intercessions of the martyrs, the Lord, grant rest unto the souls of thy servants. Taking hold of the right hand of thy servants, guide them through life everlasting Christ unto the vision of thy beauty, since thou art implored by the prize many martyrs or to the truth. O oh, their souls shall dwell among good things. Account those who have been departed to thee worthy to inherit the inexpressible and blessed glory, O Christ, passing over their failings and justifying them by by grace and outpouring of thy blood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and by thy life, bearing death, thou dost put to death, death maker to death, O Christ, God, giver of life, who dost breathe life into the dead. Do thou thyself now grant rest unto thy faithful servants, whom thou hast taken to thyself, but now and ever unto the ages of ages of men, as God the Son is fair with the most exalted comeliness, yet when he was incarnate of thee, O Virgin, he was hung upon the tree, and he had no comeliness when he came to a death for the sake of of all, <clears throat> by the intercessions of thy martyrs, the Lord grant rest to the whole souls of thy servants. Having overcome the error of idols, the martyrs implored the Master and God that divine rest be given to them that have died before. The, their souls shall dwell among good things. Be well pleased, O Master, that thy servants whom thou hast translated may pass by the turning sword and may attain unto the befitting participation of the tree of life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, vouchsafe that thy servants may dwell in the paradise of delight, where there is no where there is a pure sound of them that keep festival, giving them pardon of their failings, now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Thou hast joined virginity and divine giving of birth. Thou hast joined virginity to a divine giving of birth, O pure, O all pure, for thou inexplicably givest birth to the Creator of all, and to the who and to whose will all things are subject. By the intercessions of thy martyrs, the Lord grant rest to the souls of thy servants. Since ye are fellow citizens of the angels of martyrs, ask rest, habitation, and divine paradise, and complete redemption of, from failings for all who have fallen asleep, their souls shall dwell among good things. He that kept the blameless virgin, and he that had kept thee a blameless virgin after giving birth, have glorified all the virgins that stand about thee, with whom do thou unceasingly importune him that our souls be preserved from every affliction from and from temptations. By the intercession of thy martyrs, the Lord grant rest to the souls of thy servants. Coming into the coming into sight as luminaries, the martyrs make the, the heaven of the church bright, and they ask Christ the Savior that forgiveness be granted to them that have slept. Their souls should dwell among good things, having thy cross as a rod and power, thy servants pass through the sea of this world, whom do thou plant in thy mountain, O Lord, wherein thou hast wrought sanctification. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, since thou art compassionate, O Master. 
be well pleased that thy servants whom thou hast chosen and hast taken to thyself may dwell in thy truly beloved dwellings wherein the spirits wherein are the spirits of the just now and ever unto the ages of ages of men when he that hath authority over the dead and the living took on a body as a man from thee o theotokos the immortal one endured death in the flesh destroying the power of death <coughs> By the intercessions of thy martyrs, O Lord, grant rest to the souls of thy servants. Thou, O Lord, hast glorified the martyrs of witnesses of thy sovereignty. Through them do thou grant rest to those who have departed to thee, since thou art compassionate. Their souls shall dwell among good things. Grant the life that is without sorrow and exceeding gladness that is the light of the, that is delightful, the joy that never doth. And that never endeth unto those who have fallen asleep before us, for thou art plenteous in mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou alone art good, and the fountain of goodness. Grant rest unto them that have finished their life in faith and knowledge of thee, now and ever and unto the age of ages of men. We praise thee, through whom the inexpressible, in, unapproachable beauty hath dawned upon those in darkness, O Mother of God, and with longing we call thee blessed. There are, by the intercessions of thy martyrs, Lord, grant rest to the souls of thy servants. Of life, all, O life of all the dead, appoint a place in the light of thy countenance to them that have departed from us in faith unto thee, O Creator, and great, O great and merciful Christ. <clears throat> Their souls should dwell among good things. With the with mouth and tongue and heart, I confess thee to be the mother of God, O maiden. Wherefore, rescue me from thy mediation for ever, by thy mediation from everlasting condemnation. By the intercession of thy martyrs, Lord, grant rest to the souls of thy servants. When the sword... By the intercession of thy martyrs, Lord, grant rest to the souls of thy servants. When the sword that turned about beheld the spear that pierced the divine side of the Savior, made, it made a way for thy servants by the entreaties of thy prize winners. Their souls should dwell among good things. Upon a tree that is open paradise, do thou then plant therein them that have departed in faith, O my Savior, since thou art compassionate, and show them forth as partakers of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Vouchsafe that those who in piety are come unto thee, O Master, by means of death, may reap with the joy of the meadows of delight, and number them with the just from ages past, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the Word, who as God is invisible, is invisible, assumed a body, he was seen from a virgin maiden who knew not wedlock, and by him his death, and, and by him his own death, he destroyed death. That by the intercessions of the martyrs, the Lord grant rest unto the souls of thy servants. Savior, receiving the patience and endurance and blood of all thy martyrs as ransom for them that have departed in piety, grant them rest, since thou art merciful and easily reconciled. Their souls should dwell among good things, numbering the firstborn and the just, uh, and the just the souls of thy servants who have departed unto thee, O Savior, account them worthy to, to delight perpetually in thee, O the Master of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as God. Be well pleased that those whom thou hast taken to thyself may meet thee in the clouds with gladness of heart and boldness and bright joy, O Word of God, since thou art merciful and abundant in mercy, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O blessed birth giver of God, virgin mother, rejoice, for through thee is truly come the destruction of death, and the life that is without sorrow is given to all the dead. There, by the intercession of thy martyrs, the Lord grant rest to the souls of thy servants. Receiving the martyrs' entreaties and their compassion for mankind, O Master, grant rest to the souls of those who have fallen asleep in faith. In thee, overlooking their sins, and they cry, O ye works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Their souls should dwell among good things, reckoned as dead men among the transgressors, thou madest life immortal to pour forth for the dead. Vouchsafe then, O Master, that those who have departed in hope of the resurrection may attain unto thy kingdom of Savior, as they cry to thee, O ye works, praise you the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, truly ever flowing and inexhaustible fountain. 
Kindly welcome in the heavenly tabernacles thy servants who have died, O Savior, who have abound, abandoned this corruptible life as they cry to thee, O ye works, praise ye the Lord, now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Thou alone has appeared on earth as in as immaculate virgin and inviolate mother, for thou hast given birth to God, passing speech and understanding, O Lady, and hast made eternal life to flow forth from unto mortals. Wherefore we all bless thee, O Mary, Bride of God. By the, by the intercession of thy martyrs, O Lord, grant rest unto the souls of thy servants. Thou hast given those who are athletes and martyrs indeed the boldness to entreat thee. Wherefore, through them, Give divine redemption to those who have fallen asleep in faith, granting them to dwell in the place of the holy of thy holy tabernacle, O Lord. Their souls should dwell among good things, since thou by thy creative command workest all things to our prophet, who has authority over the quick and our Lord over the, the dead, appoint a place by the waters of rest unto those thy servants whom thou hast translated, since thou art compassionate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, being by nature good, and rich in mercy and kindness, do thou rescue from the outer darkness them that, have, that call upon thy name, justifying them by faith, and illuminating them with grace, since thou art the friend of man, now and ever none, to the ages of ages, amen. The prophets marvelously proclaim beforehand the symbols of thy giving birth, O all blameless ones, each in his own place, applying to thee the fitting names, for thou givest birth to life for those in Hades who destroy the dominion of death. Uh, the chariot, the chariot affair was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain, and it led into safety, joy, safely sojourning Israel that le fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise, Most Holy Mother of God, save us. My humble soul is troubled by the rising tempest of afflictions and woes and clouds and misfortunes overcome me, bringing darkness into my heart. O Bride of God, but since thou art the mother of the divine and eternal life, shine thy gladsome light and illumine me. O Most Holy Mother of God, save us. From countless trials and afflictions, grievous woes, and from misfortunes of life, have I been delivered by thy mighty strength. O spotless and immaculate maid, I extol thee, I extol and magnify thine immeasurable sympathy and thy loving care that thou hast for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having my hope now, and thy mighty help, O maid, I flee to thy, for refuge to thee, and unto thy shelter have I wholeheartedly, have I run wholeheartedly. O lady, and bow my knee, and mourn, and cry, weeping, do not disdain me, the wretched one, for thou art the refuge of Christian folk. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. I shall not cease from making known most manifestly the great deed made of God, for thou hast wrought not, for if thou were not present to intercede in my behalf and importune thy son and God who would free the, and deliver me from such temptations and turbulence and surmount the perils that trouble me. <clears> of <throat> oh, the vault of the heavens art thou, Lord, fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder, and do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, and the only friend of man, most holy mother of God, save us at a loss. And despairing, I cry with pain unto thee, hasten thou, O fervent protection, grant thou help to me, who am thy lowly slave and wretched servant, O maiden, for with heartfelt favor I come seeking for thy aid, most holy mother, God save us. Thou, O lady, hast truly been shown to be wondrous now in thy benefactions and mercies given to me, O maiden. Hence do I glorify and acclaim thee whilst praising thy great loving care and thy boundless solicitude. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mighty storms of misfortunes, O lady, pass over me, and the swelling waves of afflictions plunge me into to the depths. Make haste, O full of grace, and lend me thy helping hand quickly, for thou art the fervent protectress and sure support, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. I profess thee, O Lady, to be the true mother of God, thee who hast both banished and triumphed over the might of death. For as the source of life, thou hast freed me from Hades' bonds, raising me to life through the earth, through to... Uh, 
though to earth was I fallen down. Thou art my strength, thou art my power, and might, O Lord, thou art my God. Thou who was not absent from thy father's arms, thou, Lord, art my joy. Thou hast deigned to visit. Counted us worthy to partake of thy holy mysteries, preserve us in thy sanctification, meditating on thy righteousness all the day long. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alright, having partaken of the divine, holy and magic, morning, heavenly life, 
fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For thou art our sanctification unto the way, Son of the Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> O Lord, bless us, them that bless thee, and sanctify us, them that put to trust in thee, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify them that love the beauty of thine house, do thou in turn glorify them by thy divine power, and forsake us not that hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to those in authority, to all thy people, for every good gift, for every good giving and every, per and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving and worship of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. The martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon strength as presumption. O Christ, God, by his prayer, save our souls, since thou art merciful. Mm, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As a garden planted by the Spirit, thou didst yield as fruit to soul salvation, teaching men the ineffable mysteries of him that fell as a grain of wheat in the earth, and by his dying hath made all the world to live. Righteous Father George, entreat Christ our God in our behalf, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. By the intercession, O Lord of all the saints, and the Theotokos, do thou grant us thy peace, and have mercy on us, since thou alone art compassionate. Lord have mercy. O thou hast brought all things into perfection by thy word, O Lord, and hast commanded the earth, the earth to produce fruits of every kind for our enjoyment, sustenance with grains to show the three children Daniel to, and Daniel to be fairer than, fairer than them that in Babylon live sumptuously. Do thou, supremely good King, bless these grains all together with these diverse fruits and sanctify them to partake of what is under thy glory, O Lord, that they have been presented by thy servants in honor and memory of the holy martyr Cariopius of Perga and Pamphylia, <laughs> our Father and Saints George, Bishop of Mytilene, the holy martyrs Rufinus, the deacon Aquiline, and 200 with them at Sinop. Being Pontus, our righteous Father Lucius of Volokolomsk, Saint, uh, Saint Serapion, Archbishop of Novogorod, the recovery whose whole relics we commemorate, our righteous Father Daniel, Periaslav, Zaleski, the holy new martyrs, George and Aquiline, the fools for Christ's sake of Rabrizka, uh, and also in memory of them that have finished their life in godly faith. And do thou, good one, grant unto them that prepare these things and celebrate this memory, their every salutary request, and the enjoyment of the everlasting good things. By the intercession of all Immaculate Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, <coughs> of the Holy Martyr Calliopius of Perga and Pamphylia, our Father and Saints George, Bishop of Mytilene, whose memory also we celebrate of all thy saints, for thou art he that blesseth and sanctifieth all things of Christ our God, and unto thee do we send of glory with thy Father, who is without beginning, and all holy and good life, creating spirit, now unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you by His divine grace and love for man always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O Christ, our God, O hopeful Lord, glory be to Thee.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Master, bless. Praise to the true God, by the intercessions of His all immaculate all His Holy Mother, whose Akathis him we celebrate by the power of the honor and life in Christ, with the protection of the heavenly bodies, power of supplications, of the women of glorious power from Baptist, John, the Holy Glory, Sophia, and Apostles, Peter and Paul, the Chiefs of the Seventy, our Father, among the Saints, Nicholas, and Lo- Nicholas of Mardis, and the Holy Glory, great martyrs, George, the great mission streaming, of the Holy Glory, and trying to victorious martyrs, the Russian God, bearing fathers, Clement, and now of the wonder workers, serve from Israel. Herman of Alaska, and the Saint John of Alaska, the King of Confessor, Peter of Moscow, Peter of the Yalu. Our fathers among Saints and New Confessors, Fiddler of New York, Lake Gator, Romani, Christosom, of Lord and Righteous Mother, Sixth Anna, Jazz, Shield of Fools, Christ, Sake of Holy Patron, John Maximum, the Church, Bishop of San Francisco, the Wonder Worker, the Holy Right Chancellor of God, Joachim Nana, of the Holy Martyr, Caliopas of Perga, and Pia Philia, our father among Saints George, Bishop of Italy, and his memory, keep the day, and father among Saints John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of Divine Liturgy, we have celebrated, and of all the Saints, remember to save us, for he's going to friend of men. The prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy, and save us. The prayers of the Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the God of mercy, and save us. Amen. And having attained the good communion of the life creating and mystic gifts, straightway give praise and great thanksgiving, and fervently from thy soul cry unto God, Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me, the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be communicant of the Holy Mystery. <coughs> I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy, unworthy as I am, to partake of that immaculate and heavenly gift. But a man befriending master to die for us and rise again, is grant us these that dread and life pretty mysteries for the benefits and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant also these may be unto me the healing of soul and body, the averting of everything hostile, the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and fame, for faith and shame, for the plenitude of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for the increase of the divine grace, for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being kept by, the, by them and the holiness, I remember, remember thy grace and never live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when from this life I have passed in hope of life eternal, may I attain to everlasting rest, with the sounds and ceasing of them that keep festival, and unending the delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. Thou the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation praises thee into the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things thou have bestowed upon me, and for the participation in thy immaculate life creating mysteries. I pray thee therefore, good one, thou friend of man, guard me under the protection of the shadow of thy wings, and grant that with a pure conscience of my last breath I may really partake of the holy gifts unto forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. Thou have the bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, the giver of all that is good, unto thee be sent of glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who givest me willingly as nourishment thy flesh, thou who art fire and dost consume the unworthy, scorch me not, O my Maker, but rather pass through me for the right ordering of my members, to all my joints, my reins, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all mine offenses, purify my soul, sanctify my mind, make firm my knees and bones, enlighten the simple unity of my five senses, nail down the whole of me with thy fear, ever shelter, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse and order me aright, make me calmly, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me forth as the habitation of the Spirit only, and no longer as the habitation of sin. That is thine abode from the entrance into thy communion, Every evildoer and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercessors, I bring to thee all the sanctified, the ranks of the corporeal powers, the forerun of the wise apostles, and further the pure and spotless mother. The prayers of thee receive, O my compassion of Christ, and make of me worship thee a child of light. Thou alone art our sanctification, a good one, and the illumination of our souls. And to thee is to our God and Master each day, as is fitting, also in that glory. May the holy body of Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for eternal life, and the precious blood for the forgiveness of sins, May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness, and that dread second coming make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. By the intercessions of the all immaculate mother and of all thy saints. Amen. O Holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me the unworthy one, worthy to be communicant of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy Son. Do thou give us birth to true light, enlighten the noetic eyes of my heart, Thou who didst conceive the source of immortality, give life to me who am dead in sin. For thou art the compassionate, loving mother of the merciful God. Have mercy on me, give me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my reasonings, and the recall of my thoughts from their captivity. Give me worthy to my last breath, receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries, unto the healing of both soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may him and glorify thee to all the days of my life. For blessed and glorified thou unto the ages of ages. Blessed and glorified thou unto the ages. For blessing, glory down to the ages. Amen.
Now let us die the servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word, for my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the nations and the glory of the people of Israel. Ispolati despota, holy God, holy mightily, mortal have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mightily, mortal have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mightily, mortal have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, now unto the age of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon to illumine the universe, and disclose the world treasures of uncovetousness, and shown us the heights of humility, of also instructing us by the words of Father John Chrysostom, and to receive with the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens hast thou received divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God and Trinity, O John Chrysostom, all blessed righteous one. Rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art our teacher, revealing things divine, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercession, O Lord, of all the saints and the Theotokos, do thou grant us the peace and have mercy in us, since thou alone art compassionate. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Holy Master, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, of Lord, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy master, bless. Praise the true God by the intercession of his only Mac, noble and holy mother, whose act as we celebrate by the supplications of the glorious power from Baptist John, of the holy patron John Maximum, which Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker, the holy right hand, of God, Joey Kimnana, of the holy martyr Caliobas of Pergam, Pamphylia, Father of the Saints, George, Bishop Mentalini, whose memory keep the reign, Father of the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, may mercy and save us, for he the friend of man. Amen. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal of mercy in us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and tears of ages. Amen. 
The Siddhartha, O oh Lord, teach me the statutes. Mm-hmm. With the spirits of the righteous that have been perfected, to thy arrest, O Savior, to the souls of thy servants, preserving them for the blessed life with thee, O friend of man. Istin kata pavsin su kiria, o pupanda si ai su anapavonde, anapavson, ketapsi kastondulon su otimono si parki satanatos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thou art our God, who didst descend into Hades, and didst dispel the pangs of them that were in fetters. Do thou thyself grant rest, O Savior, to the souls of thy servants. Kenin ke ai ke istu se onus tone onon amin, imoni agni ke akrandos parthenos, i theonas poros ki salsa, presvede tu sotine ton psikas ton dulon su. Now, so God, according to the great mercy, pray the hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of the Lord who have fallen asleep. For us, give you none, monk, Nicodemus, priest, monk, Nicodemus, monk, of the key, grandis, of Sinclair, the key, none, Bridget, none, Clement, monk, of the Lucas, of the Lord, Constantinus, Gregory, and the John, Tophania, Dimitrius, Dimitrius, of the Lord, Maria, Magdalene, Adonis, the new repose, him and Lord God, the new repose, him and God, Michael, priest. The newly reposed helmet of God Politimi, Adonius, Maria Calliope, Maria, Eleni, Eleni, Nicholas, Elessa, Magdalene, Lambrini, Ioannis, Cleonius, Vasiki, Elias, Vasilia, Eleftria, Eleni, Ioannis, Eleni, Victoria, Anna, Constantinus, Maria, Michael, Constantinus, Eugenia, Stefan, Zacharia, Sofia, Paniota, Georgia, Vasilius, Kyriakos, George, Lucia, Eleni, Apostolos, Maria, Ioannis, Adoros, Spiridonas, Sakelaris, Petros, Asilius, Andreas, Ioannis, David, Steven, Steven, Ioannis, Georgia, Eleni, Stavro, Dimitri, Eugenia, Dimitris Nastasia, Daniel, Haricles, Jesus, Thomas, Prosvez, Vetor, Prednod, Prosvetor, Rorinia, Giorgia, Katarina, Dimitris, Kiriakos, Ksanti, Todoros, Petrina, Vasilios, Arnik, Konstantinos, Paniki, Christos, Sofia, Anargiros, Atanasis, Ioana, Viktor, Christos, Ioannis, Teoharis, Erini, Gerasimus, Nikolas, Atina, Giorgia, Ngeliki, Panayoti, Konstantinos, Dimitris, Giorgia, Dimantia, Antonio, Stavrudo, Maria, Panayota, Virginia, Evgenia, Panayoti, Spiridona, Akribula, Giorgia, Vridiki, Eleni, Atanasis, Maria, Stavros, Spiridona, Statius, Sofia, Nan, Sara, Sonia, Simona, Teodora, Simona, Nubar, Sofia. David Harmon, Jai Harmon, Dimitris Monk, Edris Himam, Sirs Himam, Hartum Monk, Samuel Monk, Barsanofi, Sardika, Kiprinis Himan, Nogas, Himan, Barsanofi, Himan, Sofia, Nan, Filotea, Nan, Dionysia, Nan, Teodora, Simon, Nan, And for the forgiveness of the rich transgression, both voluntary and voluntary. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And the Lord God established their souls for the just repose. Lord of mercy. The mercy of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, their immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who has chosen down death and destroyed the devil and bestowed life on their world, do thou thyself, O Lord, grant rest to the souls of the servants who fall asleep. The new repose, the servants of God, Marco, Presbyter. Polytimi, our Father Neil Joachim, Priest Monk Fred Kaparski, Ninan. All the servants commemorated the sacred Proust Committee, and all those, all of whom each had in mind, in a place of light, in a place of virgin, in a place of refreshment, when Spain, sorrow, and sighing are fled away, forgive every sin committed by them in word or in deed or in thought, as thou art good and member friend in God, for there is no man that, that shall live and not sin, for thou alone art without sin, thy righteousness is righteousness forever, and thy word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the resurrection, the life and repose of the servants who have fallen asleep. 
Then in the earlier post service we got Michael the Presbyter, Polytimia, Cardinal, Jack and Priest Monk, Pet Kaparski Nan. And all the commemorated servants of Christ the God and unto the rich and of glory, with the Father which is without beginning, and then all holding good life, fearing spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy master, bless. He that had power over the living and the dead is immortal king and arose from the dead. Christ our true God by the intercession of his all immaculate and noble and holy mother, the venerable glorious prophet, Fran and Baptist John. Our righteous and God-bring fathers of the holy glorious patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of the holy and just Lazarus, the four days dead, of the seven youths of Ephesus, of the seven Maccabees, children of all the saints, may he place the souls of his servants who departed from us, Michael, Presbyter, and Polytimid, the newly reposed, our father, Nel Jork, and priest, Monk, Petka, Parskinan, Nestor, and of all those commemorated, and all of whom each had in mind, in the tents of the just. Amen. Give them to rest in the bosom of Abraham. Amen. And number them among the just. Amen. And your mercy and us is his good and the friend of man. Amen. 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 Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Praise Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 